Good morning, year one, and welcome to the first of our English lessons for the week. This week, we're again looking at Jack and the Beanstalk, the story, and in, fun, and in our grammar lessons, we're looking at the effect of suffixes, in particular, the suffix ed or ed words that you've, we've looked at earlier in the year. So get your whiteboards and whiteboard pens ready, and when you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, so in our grammar lessons, we're looking at the suffix ed, what effect it has. So, Today, we're going to talk about what a suffix is and understand how the suffix ed changes a verb tense. So here we go. Right, Jack here wants to tell you some stuff about a suffix. But to start off with, do you know what a suffix is? If you do, tell your grown-up and see if you agree with Jack. A suffix is added to the end of a word to change its meaning. Suffix ed is added to a specific group of words. These words are called verbs. So what's a verb? Grown-ups, at this point, it'd be worth watching the bite-sized link that's on the home learning for week, for week four English. When you've done that, you should have a good answer to that question. So resume the video when you're ready. So we now know every sentence needs a verb. Verbs are doing words, i.e. I climb high, and the doing word is there. Are feeling words, I like donuts, and like is the feeling word there. And verbs describe something that is happening, i.e. working. The robot is working. Verbs are also used to help you understand when something takes place, i.e. I climb, I will climb, I climbed. Now each one of those tells you, the verb or verb string, tells you when something's happening. So have a think about when each one of these is happening. I climb, what do you think year one? It's now, it's happening in the present tense. You could, if you looked out the window, you would see me climbing. I will climb. When's that happening? At some time in the future. So if you looked out tomorrow, you, you might see that I've promised and I will be climbing. And now the last one, I climbed. That's right, that's before. So yesterday I climbed happened in the past tense. Okay, adding the suffix v ed. Ed is added to a verb when something has already taken place, something that's happened in the past. And today's challenge is think of something you did yesterday. Write a sentence describing it. Underline the verb. If you've used, and there's an example, an ed, then you've succeeded. If not, think of something else and try again. Keep going until you have an ED sentence. And this is because you're grown-ups. A lot of English verbs are irregular. We're just concentrating on the ones that you can add a straight ED to. OK, so when you're ready, we'll start the video again and we'll be looking at the main part of today's lesson. OK, so if you remember on Last week, we'd reached this point of the story. The giant suddenly looked up and said, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack was terrified, but before he could move, the giant slumped forward and fell asleep. So before we get going, try to tell your grown-up what's happened in the story so far. And when you're ready, start the video again. Now today, we're going to stop the video at several points and you're going to write a prediction of what you think is going to happen. Now you can just tell your grown-up what you think is going to happen or you can write a few sentences. It's completely up to you each time. It would be nice, grown-ups, if there could be one written prediction, maybe the last one of these. OK, so when you're ready to go, start the video and we will continue and get your whiteboards and whiteboard ready to get your ideas organised as to what's going to be happening. So Jack moved forwards. Carefully he took one of the giant's gold coins and put it in his backpack. 
then another and another. Then he turned and ran back to the beanstalk. His mother was delighted to see him. They sold the coins and lived happily until the money ran out. So, at this point, what do you think Jack's going to do now? And try to explain not just what he's going to do, but why you think that's going to happen. And if you do know the story already, try to think of reasons in the story, specific reasons linked to this version of the story. Okay, grown-ups, when you're ready, start the video again. For a second time, let's see if you're right. Jack climbed the beanstalk. For a second time, Jack crept into the castle. And for a second time, Jack watched the giant fall asleep. Jack took the hen and ran out of the castle. Master, master, we have been robbed, cried the harp. So, your second pause now. What do you think is going to happen now? Why do you think that that's going to happen? So, grown-ups, when you're ready, start the video again. I wonder if you've got your prediction right. Let's find out what happens next. I bet you've guessed this. A giant woke up. Fee, fi, fo, fum. It will do no good to run. I will eat you up. Yum, yum, yum said the giant. Jack grabbed the top of the beanstalk and began to climb down as fast as he could. The giant followed him. <sighs> right, now this is the last time I want you to make a prediction. If you haven't written a prediction yet, have a go at writing a couple of sentences. So what do you think is going to happen now? And why do you think it's going to happen? So grown up, start the video again when you're ready. OK, so that's the last part of your task for the English lesson today. But I bet you want to see how the story ends. So on we go. Hurry, Jack, called his mother. She got an axe and chopped down the beanstalk. Did any of you think it would be the mum that chopped down the beanstalk? It fell with a crash. That was the end of the giant. Jack still had the magic hen and they were safe. Jack kept the hen and it laid golden eggs every day. Jack and his mother were no longer poor, and you probably predicted this, they all lived happily ever after. So, well done year one, that's the end of today's English lesson, and tomorrow we'll be looking at you telling the story yourselves, or preparing to.